this is what we are doing is we're going to be playing the game. I played it before, but I haven't played it in forever since like since a couple months. So surreal. Famously called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. I'm I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Hmm. It's not bad. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted. I can't by believe the I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade she to the 21st tortured, century. Right? But I like I it old. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Bullshit. Keep that to yourself. My little camera bag Seriously, is battered, no. but still kicking. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And, and any one of you could do that to me. <coughs> Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Sorry, Cornelius. Max. No more selfies right now. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. That may be true, Max. Hmm. 
it too. I just worked so hard on this shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. I just really think everyday hero is Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. Hi, Kate. This is oh. Just a bump on a Hi, room. Max. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photograph. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I have my moment in the camera. I am. Everybody should have totally. their I only right. want to share whatever. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea? No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Hmm. And what about that paper ball that Dr. Brand tossed you? Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. Excellent, so Black Vault Academy. Oh. Oh. Etched mark. Huh. This might make a cool shot. Rachel Amber forever. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What? I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Wow. I think I have to. I, I'm, gonna talk, I'm gonna check out everything. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Even in pictures. The forest around here always looks mysterious. Sorry for any background noises, guys. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Hmm. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Hmm. Well, I didn't look at that. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying you always Welcome look to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of her. Whoa! Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant pen. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Alright guys, back. 
They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar drops out. I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Meltdown? Not meltdown? <gasps> I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's appreciate the art on the wall. Illuminati confirmed. I want to see how many of those we can find. This poster must drive people to have sex. Wow, that's sad. Oh. I'm good to flow, thanks. Just weird. I remember when somebody pumped the alarm last month. At least I got out of science right, class for that this quiz. Is on the right track. Ooh, butterfly. Whoa. Where did that butterfly come from? Yeah, it just flew through the window. It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. Oh. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. Maybe it is. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You you're okay, you bro. Just that? come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. Oh. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Dang. Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who oh. the fuck I am or who you're messing from? around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh, wow. Whoa. What the What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. she likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. 
You feel like totally haunted. I did it. Can you give me I actually a did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't yeah. freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height you know, of their beauty or innocence? That he said that. She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I, ever have I have to admit, I'm, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max. Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there no. anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Who's after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro rewind, zone. Please. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? I can only go so far back in time. Ah, my brain is being fully disintegrated. Ah. Well, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre, around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. How we could frame any of us in a dark corner. Yes. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition every... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your... A thousand... I know. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. Uh -uh. John Lennon once said... Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yeah. You'll have to do your homework this week. 
Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. That was, that was pretty good. <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniels. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! I need a hammer to break it open! It's not hard to get shot at all. Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people! Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass. Tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. Yeah, because you just held the girl at gunpoint. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Okay. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. <sighs> Even though he held a girl at gunpoint, in the bathroom. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. 
So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Nah. Rachel Amber. I did not she looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab. Okay, so that's all the people I've met. This is the episodes. That's a text message. This is the map. <coughs> grab that flash drive. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh, look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Whoa. What wow. a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, Why hold that pose. Ain't. Why ain't. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. I bet I will. Control panel. Ooh. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Hurry up. Yeah. 
Why are you taking it that slow? One step at a time. No. Okay, let's see if this works. Awesome. None shall pass. Capiche? Maybe I should spray them with water first. I'm gonna get hit with the paint too. I'll take it off right here. Close, but no cigar. They have to be right Jesus. under the bucket. What the hell? Thanks so much for almost ruining my outfit. You're sure we'll get it right next time. Go, 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 go
You don't deserve this key. Peace. As long as, as long as I'm helping out a friend. Guys, I'm only Home sweet home. Person. My favorite cocoon. So, if you're wondering, uh, yeah. What? Which, what is the Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your dry so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. XOXOD. I hate you. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Nope, don't care. Don't care if Principal Weld is telling you I'm accusing you. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rotten there. Oh. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. So stupid. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk, just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Patson? Nah. Mason? No. Olson? No. Watson? Why do you all end in son? I'll go with Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. Huh. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. But anything. I might put it in part. But I bet Victoria did. I know the person is in her room. Alright. Answer, you wuss. <laughs> I know the person is in her room. Okay. Let's look at the computer. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my- Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Where's the printer? Rich girl should have a rich, rich printer. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Imagine if, um, Victoria was just waiting there. That would've been creepy. Well, not creepy, that would've been scary. Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are, and I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Leah E. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Mm, just not notice that. Where's Leah E? Hmm. It's nice that I get cut. Pregnancy test. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. 
But pregnancy test. Oh, uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. Is Dana pregnant? You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. All right, so that she isn't mad at me. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. This stream is but I could rewind and hook it up to her. So let's go back. Let's go, and I'll see you next. And well, no, I'm not ending it here. It might be an hour long, depending on whether or not I can get to a checkpoint in that amount of time. Eighteen minutes left. Don't mind waiting here forever. I'll be parked and I can get out of the cars. The more I check, the longer I, um, I take on my way. Bye. Fuck this shit! Ow! Ow. That hurt! Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm that talking about. I actually helped somebody. Why is she texting all cats? By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. I want to help, but I also want proof, and I think proof is better than... You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront, so you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Oh, don't even. I've done enough for you today. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate no, and David. No, I raised the slate. And I talked to her. I invited her to a cup of tea, but she didn't want it. I was offering to pay and everything. Man, I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. I won't bother you then. I have to go see Warren before he melts. See you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll all be partying later with Zack and Victoria and the Vortex Club. Uh, yeah. Sure. See you around, Max. What was that? I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. Come on over here, please. Don't look at his car first. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. Man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. 
I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I'll be right back, guys.
Sorry for the yelling in the background, guys. I am back. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it at my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Uh -oh. Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal. Now. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth. A student oh. had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into it. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me. I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Dang. Hey, leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore leave in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Warren! Go! Go! Max. go I got this! Oh. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Yes. Nathan Prescott is messed up and oh, dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Oh, Don't yeah, give me the guilty Chloe. face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy no. to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. that one in a while not everything changes except my camera has officially taken a shit 
My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific, tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. Okay, okay guys, we will be saving, we will be ending that video, the video off right there. Well, not really a video, just a stream. But we'll be ending this now, and uh, we will be making a new one later on to finish up this first episode. But for now, uh, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.